This video, I'll be doing some sketching and I wanted to talk about some things. Today's topics include my recent achievement in art and my two cents on the AI issue at the moment, specifically in the art community. First, I've just gotten my art into a collection of artworks to be permanently displayed in a children's hospice, which I think is pretty exciting because it's my first time really getting my art out into the world. Let's talk about AI art. So, is AI art actually art? Is a question I hear a lot about this. And I warn you now, I'm not an expert. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is, if there is one. But let's read some definitions that I've collected over the internet and figure this out. So the first dictionary comes from the first result of Google when you look up the definition of art. The expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, typically in a visual form such as painting or sculpture, producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. The second definition that I've gotten is from the Merriam-Webster dictionary and I've got two definitions from there actually. The first being skill acquired by experience, study or observation and that is for art as a noun. The second is for art as an adjective and it is produced as an artistic effort or for decorative purposes. And then the third is from the Cambridge Dictionary and it is the making of objects, images, music, etc. that are beautiful or express feelings. Express feelings. I feel like that's one of the most important parts of art. It really takes a part of the human experience and displays it in an abstract way or even directly in some art pieces. I think this is a really integral part to art. And AI art doesn't really achieve that because it's not a human, doesn't have experiences, it doesn't have a life, it's, it has no meaning behind it. And any semblance of that meaning is just feigned by the fact that it copies off of other artists' hard work and just crudely stitches the feelings from those artworks together to create something. It can be moving, AI art can be, I mean, but it will never truly have that same thing that human art has. I can't exactly describe it, but I think you can get what I mean. So from this, I think that we should just make AI art and human art two separate things. AI art should not be allowed to be the same thing as human art, because they're just fundamentally different. I think in general we should just let AI be AI and not humans. It shouldn't try to be us. We shouldn't humanize it. Because we all know what happens with AI in sci-fi movies. They go rogue and then terrible things happen. And who's to say that fiction can't become fact? I don't think we should let AI advance to humans, to human level. I think AI should advance to how well AI is going to be. 
and it should stay separate from art and human expression. Because it's just not. So, if AI art isn't necessarily art, then what is it? I hear a lot of fellow artists who want to embrace AI art say that it could actually be used as a tool for artists for things such as concept art. But I think the thing that could really be beneficial from AI art is what it does for non-artists. And not in a way that it would take the jobs of human artists, just for like personal use. I don't know exactly what, but it should be something that isn't related to art. Because its biggest potential is what it can do for people who don't have that innate or haven't trained themselves to have that sense of all the elements of art and the feelings and how to express it. As artists, we shouldn't need a tool to help us have our art brain. We're artists. We can do concept art without something making it for us. Unless we just want to cut down on production time, then I totally understand that. So, it can be used as a tool by artists, just like, not that's not the primary thing. That's not the primary reason it should be used and kept to advance. So, what would happen if we do go still go down the route of using AI as a replacement for art? As a replacement for artists? Well, every job in every field can be replaced by AI to some capacity in the future. The problem is, how quickly will that happen to each job? And it's looking like for artists, that may happen pretty soon. So I reckon it's something we should really start worrying about, and we should keep up the conversation. That's why I want to add to it. So the main worries about AI taking artist jobs is how it's so much cheaper to use AI to make an artwork than it is to hire an artist. Because artists have to get paid for all the time they put into the art, all the resources they put into the art, and just what they need to live. But an AI is just like one fee that's really cheap. There's no soul in it. And what's really concerning is even in art competitions, there has been a case where somebody's entered with AI art and have won against artists who poured their heart and soul into their creation. And a lot of artists were understandably angered by this, and I agree. Because everyone else who worked hard got beaten by someone who just swept in and put bare minimum effort. Another problem is one that I'm not well versed in. So I won't have much to say on this, but it's that AI has to be trained by art that already exists. So it creates a lot of copyright issues, but I'm not sure about all of that stuff. But it's important to bring up in a conversation about AI art. 
So, in conclusion, what do we do about AI art? I don't know for sure, but I think we need to start separating it from human art and just recognising it as a different thing. It's its own thing, let it be that. So, comment what you think down below. Please don't be rude, respect everyone's opinions. I'd love to hear yours. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the sketches.